Lani. And I'm Vidat. This is our son, Becky. And together, we're going to take you on another Oz adventure. Hi, guys. Hi. Welcome back. It's been a hot minute. A little while. How long has it been? Uh, maybe six months. What's happened in the time? We've disappeared. <laughs> we really haven't updated you guys on anything. Yeah. Um, what's happened? Oh, daycare's happened. Daycare. <laughs> if you know, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Decky started daycare. Um, poor little man got sick a few times, as uh, they do. We've had to cancel one or two trips yeah. in that time. Yeah, a couple of trips booked. We had to cancel, postpone. But here we are um, in Goulburn. Yeah. On a hip camp. Hip camp. So yeah. nice and secluded. We're the only ones around. It's 100 acres. So the purpose of this video is just to give you a quick update on um, what we've got planned, on the videos we've got coming up, and as well as give you an update on our van. It's been eight months now with the van. Um, and also our update on thoughts of van life since we've got a van. Is it is it what we thought it would be? Part-time part van life. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So we are not a full-time traveling family. No. We just get out on, you know, long weekends, maybe once a month. Um, and our plan is once we're settled with the van, maybe once Becky's a bit older, is to go out and do maybe three to six month trips max. I don't really see us ever going full-time. So um, I think it's a bit of a different spin. Most YouTube channels that we've seemed to come across anyways is, is full-time vanners. So yeah. I think yeah. it might be nice to give a different perspective. Yeah. So... Um, to begin with, our experience so far in the eight months we've had the van has been good. Uh, we haven't had any major issues. The van's done its first service. There were maybe 10 or 12 all minor little things like window struts, um, maybe some of the doors, not uh, drawers, not latching properly. There was really, uh, we had a bit of a leak in our toolbox as well that we wanted to get sealed. All, all of the issues are more small adjustments to uh, hinges and what have you. Like, it wasn't anything, nothing major whatsoever. Um, so, yeah, and that, that the service itself, I think, from memory, was around three $400. Yeah. Um, uh, was... Drop-off, pick-up, same day. Yeah. Um, wasn't, yeah, wasn't too, um, too involved or, um, yeah, so that mm. was pretty easy. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's been good. We're learning a lot um, still. Like again, as I mentioned, this is our first time off grid for three, four days. So, learning how the solar system works um, with mm. the batteries and trying to figure out because it is pretty cold here in Goulburn. So, learning what we can and can't get away with um, with Zeki, uh, especially during the nights, uh, has uh, been a good lesson. Yeah. Um, so you, we, yeah. I think we should talk about that a bit more now. Um, so we did mention in a previous video about how, I think it was our walkthrough video, how many hours we got out of the our solar setup um, mm. with the air conditioning. If you want more information on that, you can check out that video. Um, now, in terms of in the cold, I hate to say this, but that was right. We we should have got a gas heater. We never mentioned this. I We've never mentioned that I wanted a gas heater. <laughs> Di First we were thinking diesel heater, then we thought, okay, maybe we go gas heater, but we've, we've already got obviously gas in the uh, on the caravan, so, you know. No it, point adding an extra fuel source, I yeah, think. Yeah, so. but um, we I don't, I don't rub it in. I don't rub it in. Anyway. But, you know. <laughs> anyway. Just so, so you know. Um, yeah, you, even with our solar setup, which I think is above average, it's not over the top, but it's, it's, it's definitely above average. You can't get much heating overnight with it at all. Um, so I think, I think more what, so. What, it, how many hours were we talking? Well, on a full battery, you're probably getting a couple of hours of running the, the heater on at 22, 23 degrees, which isn't a lot, um. And That's on a full a full charge. On a full charge yeah. battery. And I think the biggest mistake we made was the idea of, oh, we could deplete our batteries or pretty much deplete all the batteries, just running it when we really needed it overnight. And then come the next day, on a sunny day, we our batteries would completely charge by the end of the day. Now, we're running uh, 400 amp hour uh, batteries with two 200 amp hours. Um, and what I learned was with a pretty much with 10% left in the battery and a full sunny day, by the time the sun went down, we were only at 60%. So 
with the 840 watts of solar that we have to charge those 400 amp hour batteries, it um, it wasn't enough to bring it back to full again. So I guess yeah, the biggest lesson we learned was to, um, just not to run the heater on at night. Yeah, um, yeah, it's it's we the air conditioning. Yeah, we need a proper gas heater. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We definitely sure. do. It wouldn't be that big of an issue if Zeki wasn't in the picture, but obviously little man is. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's For right. us, it's not a problem. Like, it was cold, but, you know, you keep each other warm, warm obviously. And even, just, yeah, just with blankets and yeah. stuff, it was plenty. It was enough. Even though it was, what, zero or just below zero overnight, we were still warm enough just yeah. we le- we learnt We learnt that we actually didn't need to run the aircon with Zeki. He was actually pretty warm. Once we rugged him up, um, covered him, he was actually pretty good. Uh, I guess it was, it's the first time for us. Yeah, so we just, when we heard him, you know, make a bit of a noise at night, we weren't 100% sure, so we just put the aircon on to make sure. But in the morning, we found, um, even with the aircon not running, he was quite warm. So, um, yeah, probably didn't even need to run it. But mm. but it would be nice peace of mind, especially if you're travelling traveling with a little one, yeah. to get a gas heater if you're going to do 100%. some off-grid uh, winter camping for sure, because then you can be 100% comfortable and not stress yeah. about not having enough batteries. Blah, so at blah, the blah. end of the day, you pay this much for this type of convenience, having a van to begin with, you might as well have the convenience of a, a gas true. heater. And I don't think it'll be much work um, to retrofit, especially no. with um, it being a composite van. I know there's a, a lot of people worry, throw concerns about what you can and can't do after um, these vans are built. Um, yeah, but, we asked that at the build though because we weren't sure whether we were going to get the gas heater or not, and we were told that can be that is something that can be retrofitted. That's not an issue with the composite, so yeah. it's good. But I think moral of the story is our solar setup. I think is enough and is good for ninety nine percent of things we want to do. If we had the gas heater, that would cover us in the winter sections as well, because then the only time we're going to need to run the aircon is if it's super hot, and when it's super hot, you only want it for four to six hours during the hottest part of the day and when it's that hot there's lots of solar to keep recharging your batteries while you're using it asterisk as a reminder our solar setup is still bottlenecked as well um in a previous video we mentioned that That was the walkthrough video as well yeah with with the full 840 odd watts bringing in on a blue sky sunny day we were still limited to only 30 amps coming through to our batteries because of the solar controller Um, we have uh, an aftermarket Red Arc um, DC to DC at 50 amps that we could actually be using uh, to charge rather than the, the yeah. 30 amps. So amp. we're still, uh, that's still in the works. We're going to swap that over so we can have, utilize the, the solar yeah. more uh, and potentially, it'll be interesting because I will want to yeah. test it again and where I set it only charged up to 60%, maybe it would have gone up to 70, 80%. Mm. Yeah, but. but I think, yeah, we, once we make those tweaks, change the wiring on our solar, solar panels mm-hmm. um, and add the gas heater, I think oh, you'd be we'd set. be, yeah, I don't think we would want to do, or unless we were going to literally go full time for a long stint, I don't mm-hmm. think we'd be considering upgrading any more for our weekend trips yeah, yeah. in our power system. No. I think we'd be pretty comfortable all around in most scenarios. And it's not like, it's not every camp we're going off grid. I mean, I prefer it. I think because we're by ourselves here, so um, nice. you know, we'll throw some you know, B-roll of where we are at the yeah. moment and the, the amount of, we're what, on 100 acres here yeah. um, and it's not too far from where we live as well. So um, yeah, it's real secluded, out of the way, but not too far out of the way, we're only 20 minutes out of Goulburn. Um, so yeah. yeah, no, it's it's really nice spot. So It's nice I, to be able to do these sorts of trips. I want to do more setup. of these because yeah. don't get me wrong, Caravan Park's obviously a convenience, especially having Little Man, but um, yeah, he's... Um, it, off grid's more fun. Yeah. I feel. Yeah. It can yeah. be more fun. Nice so. nice experience. Yeah. yeah. Different experience, I guess. Mm. Um, so yeah, there's there's that. And I guess the other update we wanted to give was, as I mentioned earlier, is on our thoughts of caravanning in general now that we've got the van. Are we glad we invested and got the van? A hundred percent. Yeah. Definitely not changing my mind on that. Um, yeah, there's no way we'd be, it people be, yeah. do it, but there's no way we could take a baby caravan, no. uh, sorry, camping in a tent. Like we, I just couldn't do it. We, we wouldn't be here. No, no, we wouldn't. You know, we home. wouldn't be off grid <laughs> in you know, the middle of Goulburn. Like it's, no, it would be at home. No chance. Um, you know, we're coming into winter and it's, it's instead of being at home doing nothing. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's a good excuse to go out and see different places. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. And is the van... 
a lot more convenient, uh, 100%. It's very, very convenient compared to having a tent, obviously. Um, but being real, um, we are weekend travellers and we don't actually have the van with us at our home. So... It's if convenient, that's... but it's not convenient. Yeah. yeah we, I mean, obviously, we work full-time, so we need to organise time to set up and, you know, load our, for each trip. load our van with food and what have you. Most of the van is pretty much already stocked up with spares and toys for Zeki and our clothes and what have you and toiletries and stuff, but it still takes time to actually fill the van up, especially if you're going three, four days away, especially off-grid. Um, I mean, worst case, yeah, we could go out to Goulburn and come back. It's only 20 minutes away, but... It's, I think, the yeah, not having the van with us uh, at our house. It does a, make it less convenient. Yeah. So if that's a situation and you're... And it's not there because we just, we, we didn't mention, we don't have the yeah. room. So it's it's uh, parked elsewhere, uh, which is only 20 minutes away from, from our house. But still, that's, it's a bit, um, it's, yeah, not convenient. Yeah. So if you do find yourself, if you're going to be in a similar, similar situation, um, yeah, it is, it is convenient, but the, it could be a lot more convenient if the van is at your house because I guess there's things that you do in preparation for a trip. You change the bedding, you know, you pack, you wash all the clothes, you pack fresh clothes for next time, then there's all the food and stuff. And when it is, the van is away from you, um, you have to plan ahead of time and maybe make trips out to the van during the week or something so that way the day you want to leave... Um, you can literally just un, like hitch It doesn't feel like you're doing go. too much on the day yeah. you're leaving because you don't want that first day to feel like a waste. Yeah, you where know. you're just packing, packing and yeah, rushing Yeah, especially if you, if you don't have the luxury of taking, you know, if you're working and taking leave, um, you know, yeah, you, you're trying to make the most of long weekends like we are at the moment. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. I imagine if you had the van at your house, it'd be a lot more convenient to... Yeah just duck inside, you know, do a load of laundry once it's done, put that on the van one, um, put the bedding, clean bedding in the van one day, then, you know, the next day you can just chuck some clothes, go out, chuck some clothes in there. The day before, you can do some shopping and, you know, cool down the fridge and chuck it in there. So I think it'd be a lot more convenient yeah. um, if that was the case, but that's not the case for us. And I think that's not the case probably a lot of people, to be fair, because the vans are big and not everyone especially the way houses are going these days, getting smaller and smaller blocks of land, I think probably more people are finding themselves in that position. So um, definitely don't regret it. Definitely still find it, obviously, a lot more convenient. We wouldn't be doing it if we didn't have the van. Um, but just something to keep in mind too, that it's it might be a little less convenient than you think it's going to be um, if you're not keeping the van on site with you at your house. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. All right. That's that it. So besides that, um, upcoming videos. A lot of people have been asking, and we've been mentioned, we've been harping on for a while that it's coming out, and we promise it is coming. We're going to film it today. Um, is our Ranger towing video. So keep an eye out for that one. We've installed a baby jail for Zeki to keep him safe in the bottom bunk. Um, I was looking for a solution for that for a little while until I came across um, the brand that I found so I will do a full how to install um, and review video on that if you're interested that'll be coming up and Nelligen oh Nelligen yeah, yeah we went to Nelligen earlier in the year but I haven't had a chance to edit that one either so a few videos coming up and that's about all from us we'll see you in the next one ciao bye, bye.